Hey guys, welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to run you through how we use the summarize field value options in the pivot table, or in other words, how what is actually the summarize value field options are and how we can differently use it. Now with this set, we have this uh, file being continued from my last video where I showed you how to create an uh, a pivot table, a nested field, and all those basics of the pivot table. Now, in a continuation, if we see this data, this is a sales data where we have the region representative item unit, unit cost, and the total uh, sale of each transaction they have made. Now, if we come back to the pivot, right now, what we see is the sum of the transaction amounts or the currencies, what they have done or the total of the currency sale they have done. Now, if you right click and we can do numbers and we can do currency, now it will show you as the money or uh, the value of the transactions of each and every one. Now, let's do undo this because we would be working with not only this uh, transaction values, we would be doing count and everything. So let's move it back to number, but this is the way we can use or change the look of the data uh, to show. So from where we start working with the field value options, if we come here on the right hand side, we see the values, which actually shows what values we are looking in. We click on value field option. Now this is where we get all those options. So right now, if you see what we are looking at is the custom name is the sum of the total. Now. The, in the sheet one, where we see the data, the total amount, the last column of the data was total amount of the sale or the transaction amount. That's what we are looking at, the sum of those transaction amount based on the values we have on axis Y or the columns and the rows. Now, if we move it to count, now see the whole, Pivot table have changed. Now, what it's showing is the number of transactions each sales self have done for the specific items. Now, if we will concentrate on Andrew, he's at the top, and we'll just use his numbers to understand the values or how it's calculated. Now, if you see, if we see Andrews, he has done one sale for the binder, one transaction, and he has done three transactions from the pencil. Now, if we come back to the data, we do control shift L as in shortcut for the filter. We select Andrews here, which will leave it like this just for our data. Now, if you see, he has done three transactions of the pencil and one for the winder, and that's what it's been shown here. It's the count of the transaction he has done, not the sum of the transaction. Now, in the same way, another way of changing these values is we right click anywhere in the data and we see this option summarize value as now earlier it was sum to start with where it was showing the total amount of the sale he has done we seen the count now let's look at the average what average would do now the moment we click on average now if you again look at the andrews and we look at the binder this number when it sticks to 140 when we were using the sum it was 140 however in the pencil case, when we are doing the sum, it was 300. Now I can right click and quickly show this. If we do this sum, if you see this value is 300 and we right click and we change it to average, the value changed to 300. Now what it's doing is, now if you remember the count of the transactions of count of the sale entries have done is three. So how this average is calculated is in simple sum divided by count and it shows you this average of 100. Now, if we come back here, we see in the data, he has done three transaction. Total amount of the transaction is 299. If we do again, count of the transaction is three. When we click again, go to average is sum, which was 299, count, which is three, is equal to 300. Now, I mean, 300 divided by three, it's 100. That's what the average comes up to. Now we have few other fields in here, which shows the maximum, minimum. Uh, I mean, it's straightforward. Maximum would be the maximum amount 
of the sale we have done. Now, if you see Andrews is 149, if you see the data, the maximum amount of the sale he has done is 149.25 and the minimum is 18.06. Now, if we right click again, we do summarize value by minimum, we'll see 18. Now, the reason we are not looking at 06, now again, remember when we right click, we do number format here we have made the decimal places as zero. If we make it one or two, we'll start looking at the decimals value as well. But just to keep it tidy, I've removed, omitted the decimals. Now, there's one other thing which we see here is product. Now product in simple, or it's the product of the all the items we have. In other words, if we have those three items in pencil, it will just multiply each and uh, all the three items and give you the product. Now, if you see again, We'll again look at Andrews. Andrews did one sale of the binder. So what it's doing is amount of the transaction amount is 140 multi and there's only one. So it's not multiplying with anyone else. But if you see pencil, what it's doing is we is actually multiplying all these numbers. It's 149 multiplied by 131 multiplied by 18 this value will come up. Now, I've not used this practically, but this is good to know kind of a value. Now, there are a few other options we have, now if we, which are not visible here, but we can either click on more options or else we can come here on the value, fields, uh, value field and click on value field settings. Now, once we scroll down, what we see few others which are Count numbers, standard deviation, standard deviation P, var variance, variance P. Now count numbers is something where it's it only counts a number. Now let's use this count number and we'll see what happens. Now, right now, what we see Andrews in the pan, he has done three sales. Now what it's doing right now, it's counting all the numbers or everything which is formatted as number. Now let's make a change in the data. We come in the data, we right click and we do format cells. We make it as a text and let's do double click here just to make the data as text. Come back here. And if we do refresh, see this number have changed. Now what count number is doing, it's only counting the number of the number values the columns which are formatted as number. That's what it's counting. Now, if we right click back and we do only count, see the number changes to three. So the difference between count and the count number is count counts everything. Count numbers only count the numbers in the list. Now, we have two other options which are if you right click again we look on more options we have standard deviation in the standard deviation p now ideally in my experience i haven't really used these values but what the standard deviation is it's actually display the standard deviation of the value uh, which we have in the current category uh, in the page filter. Now let's say from the, if we click select standard deviation right now and we see this, it's showing 13 or it's, it's, uh, it's, it's a tedious calculation to be honest. We don't get, and we get this option only when we have multiple entries so that it can actually calculate the deviation. Uh, I haven't really used it, so I'm not gonna explain this in detail, but in simple, the standard deviation is the uh, sample of the field for the current category and the page filter it's been using, or in other words, it's an estimate of the standard deviation of a population where the sample subset is your entire population. So in other words, what we can say from the grand total of 2177, it will do some variance. It will show you what the standard deviation is. I'm not clear, so I'm, I'm not gonna explain this. Variance is pretty much same, where it's an estimate of the variance of the population, where the your sample subset is entire population. Now, again, the reason I'm saying on a practical note, these are not those usable, or maybe I haven't used these option a lot. So maybe you can try and see what comes off. 
And if you have any cries, I mean, you can just send me a note or put a comment on this uh, video and I'll try and come back to you with an answer. I hope you like this video. Thanks for watching.